it's a nonsensical refrain. And this is a poem <coughs> that, uh, again, uh, from day to day, um, from time to time I read it, sometimes it seems to make more sense than others. We'll see what it looks like tonight. It's a poem that's made up of um, bits and pieces, odds and ends of uh, truisms, proverbs, half of one uh, rather unceremoniously uh, jammed up against half of another. Um, so you'll have the sense of recognition, perhaps, that, that uh, one has in any poem, but something that's slightly out of whack. Also, <coughs> and it may be in keeping with the title of the poem, which is Symposium, a symposium, as you know, uh, initially, conventionally, strictly speaking, a, a philosophical conversation taking place over a glass or two of wine, or maybe three glasses, or perhaps a couple of pints of Guinness. <laughs> Who knows? So anyway, I will, uh, I'll read this and uh, see where we end up. Symposium. There's a poem, I guess, with playing, playing with language. You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make it hold its nose to the grindstone <laughs> and hunt with the hounds. Every dog has a stitch in time. Two hens, you've been sold one good turn. One good turn deserves a bird in the hand. A bird in the hand is better than no bread. To have your cake is to pay Paul. Make hay while you can still hit the nail on the head. <laughs> For want of a nail, the sky might fall. People in glass houses can't see the wood for the new broom. <laughs> Rome wasn't built between two stools. <laughs> Empty vessels wait for no man. A hair of the dog is a friend indeed. <laughs> There's no fool like the fool who shot his bolt. There's no smoke after the horse is gone. Thank you.